Are you thinking about getting a sump for your reef tank? Stay tuned as I go over the benefits of a simple reef sump. Hi, this is Jeremy from CVTV. Although sumps can be complicated, it is possible to set up a simple sump that will add water volume to the system, help with filtration, conveniently keep unsightly equipment out of the display tank, as well as improve your reef sump. A sump has many advantages. One is to provide a safe refuge for equipment like heaters, protein skimmers, monitoring probes, automatic top-off units, media reactors, and more. It also keeps that very same equipment in a hidden location instead of inside the tank, where it can be unsightly and take up precious space that can be used for more corals. The addition of a sump increases the total water volume which helps dilute the pollutants that accumulate in your tank's water. It also helps with gas exchange and oxygenation as water drains from the aquarium into the sump. The sump provides added surface area and increased flow that also helps lower the water temperature. It makes it easier to control evaporation as it will occur there instead of within the main display tank. The sump provides a moderate flow area that can be easily accessed to add chemicals and top off water. There the additives will be fully dispersed before they make their way back into the display tank. The Reef Octopus Sump is designed with the modern Reef Aquarius in mind. The simplistic approach allows for easy expansion and service. It is constructed of a light yet durable PVC that is less prone to breakage due to impact. Each Reef Octopus sump includes a movable sock holder with filter sock, a universal probe holder, and a positional internal baffle to retain stable water height within the skimmer section, as well as provide a separate compartment for the return pump. When deciding what size sump you need, it is good to know what you plan on placing in it. Keep in mind that a sump that is too small increases the risk of overflow if the power fails or if the return pump stops working. Also, small sumps make servicing equipment more difficult, evaporation rates quickly deplete water volume, microbubbles are a challenge to overcome, and you are limited to expansion of your filtration system. Our advice is to always squeeze in the largest sump that you can fit within the available space. In this case, bigger is better, as the increased water volume will help keep your entire system more stable. Filter socks are used as an effective first stage of an aquarium filtration process and should be placed so that the water coming from the tank filter into the filter sock first, removing uneaten food, detritus, organic waste, dust, and other small particulates from the aquarium water. This dramatically improves water quality and reduces maintenance on the pumps, the need to clean the sump, and more importantly, it helps the biological filtration by removing the excess waste from what otherwise break down into ammonia, nitrates, and phosphates. Filter socks should be replaced often and it is a good idea to have several on hand to easily swap out as needed. We recommend a starting point of every three to five days and adjust accordingly to your system's needs. A unique eight inch movable baffle allows for the compact yet efficient way to properly adjust the chamber sizes within the sump. It creates two basic areas needed in every sump. The main filtration area containing the sock for mechanical filtration and enough space to adequately house the protein skimmer, heater, and other devices which are then baffled off from the return section where the return pump plus automatic top off level sensors are located. The greatest feature is that the baffle easily removes for added space while servicing your equipment within the sump. Although not included with the Reef Octopus sump, the return pump is the most important piece of equipment as it provides the return of water to and from the sump 24 hours a day. The ideal return pump will provide a turnover rate of four to six times your aquarium size. So if you have a 75 gallon tank, you would want to gear towards a turnover rate between 300 to 450 gallons per hour. 
Now, how do you measure the flow rate through your sump? To determine the turnover rate through your sump, you divide the time of how long it takes to collect one gallon of water from your drain, and divide that by 3600, which is the number of seconds in an hour. So if it takes 14 seconds to fill one gallon of water, then your pump is roughly processing 260 gallons per hour through your sump. The new RODC pumps are a great option for the ultimate control of flow through the sump as you can simply adjust the flow rate by increasing or decreasing the speed of the pump. Although not necessary, an auto top-off system is a nice feature to incorporate into your sump to automatically replenish evaporated water as needed. A reliable ATO also helps keep your tank salinity stable and prevents your return pump from running dry. The Smart ATO is a unique auto top-off system with a contactless digital sensor that monitors and automatically refills evaporated water. Best of all, it is very easy to install and contains no moving parts. If you have any questions on reef sumps or the products discussed within this video, please head on over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. If you have any comments or tips to share with your fellow reefers, please leave them in the area below. If this is your first time watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching the first season of CVTV. In January, please come back and join us for a brand new season of CVTV full of exciting new products, reviews, and instructional videos. On behalf of the CVTV and Coralview family, we would like to wish you and your loved ones a happy and safe holiday season. See you after the new year.